Are you excited to talk about contracts? OK, we have a few contract champions in the audience, but most people don't find them exciting. Contracts are boring. And they're expensive, too. So today, companies lose almost 10% of their annual revenue to poor contracting, losing billions and billions each year. I'll guide you through a few reasons why. A recent study showed that 55% of contracts created were based on the wrong template. 88% find their own company's contracts difficult or even impossible to understand. And 10% of contracts in a company are gone. They've disappeared. So contracts are scattered throughout the organization, and traditional contracting is broken, which is why my co-founder and I retired as business lawyers to establish precisely an AI-powered end-to-end contract automation platform that solves even the most complex contract issues and allows anyone from any background to automatically create, e-sign, and manage compliant contracts in minutes. And now we're combining the power of contract data and AI to eventually eliminate human interactions from standardized neg negotiations. By structuring and analyzing the contract data, we'll be able to provide our users with contract business intelligence, even without the need of rev reviewing contracts one by one. We serve a multi-billion dollar industry, expected to more than triple in size the upcoming years. And I'm very proud to say that Precisely is growing even faster than the industry. We've onboarded over 200 paying companies. And since we're an enterprise SaaS, I'll mention that our MRR has tripled just this year even with a net negative MRR churn rate, meaning not only that we manage to keep almost all our customers, they typically increase their licenses too. From our offices in Gothenburg, Stockholm, and London, we've established a global client portfolio with strong brands. It even involves some of Finland's most outstanding companies. And this is what they say about us. It's not only about improved risk management or increased efficiency. Some emphasize the positive environmental aspects and others, the increased employee satisfaction. We are trusted by the legal departments and loved by the rest of the business. And since I've been in their shoes, I can understand why. We deliver outstanding results, and in the end, allow them to focus on what actually matters, rather than shuffling paper. So join us on our journey of making contract smart creating more contract champions as the guys over there, and becoming the global standard of contract automation. Thank you. Um, so a little bit skeptical about what happens when you create the contract, because you probably then want to go and get it blessed by a real uh, lawyer and then they will probably tell you that, well, this is not right, it's not right, and you end up spending the same amount? Excellent point, but in our case, it's the in-house legal department that sets up the templates. But they have the lack of resources to be involved in the day-to-day -day practice of contracts, so they need to rely on other people, so sales department, HR, and finance. And what we do for in relation to the legal department is to allow them to decentralize contract creation without losing control. So they, they end up just reviewing the existing contracts that are created? They simply set up the contract templates, and then the sales, HR, and finance, and the other guys involved in the contract process answer a few simple questions. And based on those answers to the questions, a compliant contract based entirely on the rules of the legal department will automatically be generated. And you, what's your traction? Where, what customers have you got? I mean, we have 200 paying companies, and that involves everything from Katina Media to Futurist and Karnov Group, the largest legal information provider in the Nordics, with over 60,000 practicing lawyers as their customers. Yeah. So we've integrated the technology into their database. But it's growing. And, and uh, You charge per contract, or, or is it a license? It's user-based licenses. So what is the ARR at the moment? The MRR is $22,000, so yeah, times 12. I'm a lawyer, not too good with maths. 
and the turnover for this year, if that's relevant, since we also gain revenue from the implementation, it's way over the actual MRR times 12. So this year's uh, projected revenue is 350,000 US dollars. And for 2019, we've already secured $400,000 in contracted revenue. OK, thank you. <laughs>